This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse uh, Target exclusive 2-pack Bumblebee vs. Megatron. Uh, over here in Manila, this is not a, an exclusive to any store. You can pick it up at your local, uh, your favorite local toy store uh, because we don't have Target here in Manila. And the figures are obviously repaints. Um, this Bumblebee is the new a Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. It's basically the same as the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. Difference being it's got a gun and he's got a fist uh, that they've remolded to hold weapons. And most of the Cyberverse figures, the uh, Legends class as well as the uh, Commander class or Legion class as well as the Commander figures can actually hold weapons now. That's one interesting bit that they've uh, added in this one that Hasbro has. Uh, this one in particular is just a straight up repaint of the Wave 1 Commander Cyberverse uh, Megatron and he's, he comes with this mini a tanker trailer that turns into a gun. So if you already have the first version of Megatron, this is exact repaint. So before we begin, as always, a quick look at the packaging. Uh, not a good look because he doesn't fit in the frame. Okay, here we go. I'm not a big fan of these Cyberverse packaging, even the, the Commander ones or the Legion. I just don't like it for some reason. I don't like the... Anyway, I don't want to rant too much. It, they've, got, they've done a good job, I think, on the colors of, of, of the package of the box, especially the Target exclusive ones, which have the chrome foil stamped uh, nameplates on them. But overall, the Half Moon design, it's just not, I'm just not buying it. I like the more traditional bubble and card uh, packaging. But anyway, a lot of people, I think, like this one because they can keep it, they can seal, reseal the package uh, without really ruining it. But I uh, just don't like it. The other, oh, it doesn't show. The other wave, uh, the other fig, the other set of figures in this wave it was the Ironhide and Leadfoot, which I've already done a review on. Check it out on my channel. So anyway, I think this particular two-pack is the better two-pack. Uh, I thought the Ironhide was pretty cool. The Ironhide two-pack was pretty cool. But this one was actually, I thought, was a lot better. Especially because I've already grown to like the Cyberverse Megatron mold. A lot of people have been asking me to review him. Check out my review on the one with the trailer. And they said I was going was not going to be disappointed with it. And a lot of you, thanks to all of who suggested it, I was not disappointed with this mold. And I actually love this mold. And I'm a big fan of black repaints. Therefore, it was a no-brainer to actually pick this one up. I'm just really glad I didn't up I didn't end up hating this particular mold because that would have sucked. Anyway, uh, on to the figure. This let's, go, let's start with the Legion class Bumblebees. Comes with a removable gun, which does not fit on him uh, in, in in alt mode, which is kind of a shame. I wish Hasbro could have put a hole somewhere on him. Just made a, a small modification so that they could actually attach. The weapons, it doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to keep it in a box or something if he's in alt mode. Basic, basic transformation, just like any Legion class Bumblebee figure. Join the legs together, put it up like that, raise the arms. And I like the fact that they, it was so easy for them to remold this particular fist to have to have it hold a weapon. Uh, it's basically really much like the Revenge of the Fallen. I'm sorry I don't have one with me right now. I actually completely forgot to bring one. I was going to, but uh, y y I'm sure a lot of you already know what Bumblebee looks like in the previous movie and in the current Dark of the Moon series, which is really much like this. I don't have the, the, the Cyberverse Bumblebee, the Wave 1, Wave 2, or Wave 3 <laughs> Bumblebee. I'm just waiting for them to go in clearance. Might not even buy it anymore, but this one was pretty cool. It's got a... Oh, paint apps. Uh, nice real, nice little bit of a flame design going on in some racing stripes. Uh, metallic paint all over. The yellow plastic they use has a little bit of flake and some metallic, metallic-ness or metallic-like qualities about it. Even the windshield and windows are really painted very well. So very, very well done, Hasbro. I mean, for a repaint. Because you should have done this in the you should have done it this great in the first place to begin with, not wait for a repaint. Anyway, uh, on to Megatron. As if you've seen my Megatron with the uh, trailer review, I was a big fan of of this figure. I gave it a ten out of ten. One of the rare moments I'd actually give a good score to a Cyberverse figure, but I actually like it. Now this is the first time I've had him with the uh, the tanker trailer 
the mini tanker trailer, I think. Um, you're supposed to hook him up this way, two guns, but we all know Megatron should only have one gun. Sorry, I have a bit of a allergy. Anyway, it's a neat, neat little type of device. I, I, I know some of you know I'm not a big fan of these uh, weapons that detach and convert into a part of the, of the figure, but this one in particular was well made. Uh, it was well designed and conceptualized. I think, I mean, it, it's not the best gimmick and all, but, uh, you know, because of the fact that you can actually hold, have Megatron hold it when they're still combined, really, really saved this particular piece for me. So anyway, let's transform it into its alt mode. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's going to become a, a small tanker truck. He's got some tattoos right there. The, same with Ironhide. The commander figure has a lot of tattoos, um, which you'll see more there. Okay, transform out oh, onto the figure. Figure has gorgeous, gorgeous paint apps. Unbelievable the amount of silver they put on this guy, like on the grill, on the head. I wish they could have made the, the hand silver as well. They've put some here. Really nice. It blends very well with the black plastic that they've used. The black plastic doesn't look cheap. Uh, I initially thought it would, but it doesn't. Um, it looks pretty cool. It doesn't look expensive. It just looks not cheap, as I can say. And to a certain extent, it's got a little bit of flake. Maybe some metallic properties. I'm not sure. No, no. No, I don't think so. Uh, but the silver is well made, well painted, sorry, on him. And purple, Decepticon purple, you got to have that on Megatron. Both figures have been painted very, very well, as opposed to the Leadfoot and, and Ironhide set. That Leadfoot and Ironhide, I had to search a couple of stores just to find one with decent paint apps. These were easy to find. Uh, if you're looking for paint apps, uh, flaws on these, you got to check just the knee pads on this one and the Megatron face. Just make sure the eyes are painted well. But other than that, very, very good job on the paint app. So Hasbro, fantastic with the paint apps on this set. Transform this guy. Go ahead and lift this up. Fold the head up. Or maybe you don't. Uh, rotate. Feet. Go ahead and join them like that. Fold it up. No, we'll do that later. Go ahead and fold up the shoulders. Fold up the arms. Oh, Hasbro! Hasbro, what did you do on Megatron's hood? Oh, look at that. Look at that scraping. It's some extra plastic they just scraped off. They didn't even care if it looked bad. What? Oh man, I was about to give this guy a 10 out of 10. Anyway, that really ruined it. I didn't even see that. You can't see it in packaging. But still, it's a... I like the color scheme. I like how it works. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the trailer. And there you go. He's a cute little tanker truck, uh, Mac trailer truck. And as, apart from this one that really ruined it for me, it's still a good set. And... Excuse me, lighting's a bit off again. It's still a good set to get. I think I'd get this one over the Ironhide and Leadfoot, unless you're a big, big sucker for a, a very uh, accurate Leadfoot, a Legion class Leadfoot, then I, I suggest you give this guy a try. It's a great set, got great colors on both figures, and I highly, highly recommend it. I like it, now, especially it's the first time I've gotten this one. I'm waiting for the Wave 1 version to go on clearance, but... It's pretty cool. It's not actually that bad. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty funny to have a short tank. I mean, it's so cute. Look at that. But it's pretty cool. And this one, ah, great. Maybe wait for the wait for another set to go on clearance and get it. But I'm not going to keeping. I'm not going to be keeping him in alt mode for long. I suppose. But that just sucks. I mean, look at quality control. After I pointed out how great and flawless the paint apps are, Hasbro, Hasbro hits me on the head with this. Look at that. Anyway, uh, still a cool set. Really, really like it. Uh, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse 2-pack, a Target exclusive 2-pack featuring Bumblebee and the, I guess, Shadow Command Megatron, I suppose. It's just Megatron. Thanks for watching.